What's going on, everybody? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Zach, are you in? What's up, Zach? What's up, bro? I'm super excited. Barbara! What's up, Barbara? You guys, I'm excited. We're about to, we're about to grub. We're about to have a really, really good time. Really good time, my. I know that we were supposed to start like 16 minutes ago. What up, L? What's up? Just wait for a couple more people to tune in. We were supposed to start at five, but um, um, you know, life, life got life got really lifey today. Um, so we're starting a little bit late, but uh, it's still gonna be good. What's up? Yo, I'm pumped, man. We got we got the plant-based brother, King Kill on the doing my thing so i'm super excited y'all just want to make sure i have everything set up so you guys can see we're gonna wait like two more minutes two more minutes um to get people because you know you have to get that notification from facebook that we're going live so we're gonna wait two more minutes um if you know someone that's in this group share it with them tell them it's gonna be a great time what's up thank you for sharing I am excited that you guys are excited. How about that? I am super stoked. This is gonna be a great time. Great time. So we're gonna be starting like in two minutes. Just wanna make sure I have everything set up for you guys so that you can see and then I'll be explaining different things as well. Welcome to my, my kitchen. Let me move it over just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Who's on, who's on? Madeline, Nikki. I wish I wish we had like smell a vision so you guys can like smell it and you guys can eat it, but technology is not that advanced yet. Yo, L, what's up? What's up, what's up? Dinner time, right? It is dinner time. It is, it is. Alright. Let me wash my hands. 20 seconds. I wanna make sure I am doing the right thing. Not like I didn't wash my hands a lot before. Uh, my family, they always clown me. They're like, yo, you only wash your hands for 10 seconds. You're supposed to lather it up. So now it's like lathering up and we're good to go. I, I, I wiped down everything, I've cleaned everything. Denise, what's up? Love you much. So I wiped down everything, cleaned everything. Um, just so that I can make sure when my aunt watches this playback, she's like, okay, good. She's like, you didn't, you didn't even lather your hands last time. So we want to make sure we are safe and we are good. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on, um, but God is faithful. He's going to keep us, but we have to do our part, right? So let me finish washing my hands. I am excited. I am excited. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what Zach told me in a little bit. I'm gonna tell you guys what Zach told me in like five seconds. Right now, I, um, I just took some mushrooms out of the pack uh, because I literally clean and wash every single um, vegetable. What's up, Shamaya? What's up? All right, so I just soaked these mushrooms, they're portobello mushrooms. I soaked them in vinegar for about 10 minutes. Not, not 10 minutes, maybe like five minutes, uh, five to seven minutes just to make sure it's clean i'm like ocd i literally wash all of my fruit and veggies like before COVID 19 kind of like took over our lives so i'm like kind of ocd with that so let me make sure all of that is good bada bing bada boom all right so we're about to get started in like 10 seconds somebody do the countdown 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so that is our rice. Um, so I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. Um, I have a rice cooker. If you don't have a rice cooker, they're literally $12 at Aldi. If you have an Aldi close to you, um, it's a great investment because unfortunately, <clears throat> um, that wasn't a real call. Unfortunately, I just learned how to cook rice, like maybe a couple months ago, it's bad. Um, however, 
Shortly after I learned, I saw that they had a rice cooker on sale and I've literally been cooking all of my rice in the rice cooker. So um, good evening, good evening everyone. My name is Zav Hanfield, better known as the plant-based brother. I have, I have been plant-based since 2000. Um, my definition of plant-based is when you actively make the decision to incorporate more plants and veggies and fruits in your diet than meat. So in 2000, uh, I'm originally from Miami, Florida, the United States of Miami, the greatest place on earth, do not debate me. Uh, so originally from Miami, Florida, and it was one Sabbath morning, um, one Sabbath morning we were sitting in church, and we had, instead of, for divine worship, instead of having a sermon, we had a, kind of like a documentary. And so I'm opening my tofu right now. I'm going to drain it for our sweet and sour tofu. I don't have a tofu press, but eh, I don't usually need one. So it comes with like a lot of liquid, but I'm just going to sit it right here for a little bit. So put that over there. So it was in 2000, crazy how time flies. Um, and instead of for divine worship, instead of having a sermon, they had a documentary. And I don't remember that much from the documentary. However, I do remember just thinking like, man, I do not want to eat meat again. I did not know they did those things to animals. That was my thought at 12 years old. None of my friends were vegetarians because, you know, back then it wasn't like pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan. Everybody was just, either you were vegetarian or you weren't. And vegetarian encompassed if you ate animal byproducts or if you didn't eat animal byproducts, right? So um, I just remember just being blown away by that documentary. And I was like, mom, or I told my family, because you know, every Sabbath after church, we used to get together and we would um, just go to my grandparents' home and just grub. So that day, I think I went home and ate some like turkey or some chicken or what have you. But shortly after that, um, I told my family, I was like, yo, I want to go, I want to go vegetarian. And looking back all those years later, I'm just so grateful for the family that I had because nobody was like, you know, my mom or my aunts and my uncles, like no one said, oh, you have to eat this. You have to eat what I cook for you. No one said that. They're like, okay, I mean, I guess I was kind of spoiled if I could be honest. Um, so they were just like, yo, what do you want? Or they made reservations um, in terms of let's make sure that I have a vegetarian option for Zah. That's just what they did. And I'm just so, so grateful for that and for them. All right. So right now we're cutting our tofu. Super easy. It's still has some liquid in it, but it's perfectly fine um, because... I'm gonna be putting mine in my air fryer, but if you bake it, the same exact thing. Like, that's what an air fryer is. So, I'm gonna show you all. This is my, my tray, and I'm gonna make two rolls for my tofu, and the air fryer is gonna do what air fryers do. So, we're gonna put the tofu on the, on the, on the tray, and then we're gonna make our cheese sauce. But yeah, so that was in 2000. So literally 20 years later, it's so amazing, you know, how God, God allowed me to go plant-based at 12. And, and, you know, I was like the weird one in, in middle school, right? You don't eat meat? What? You don't eat chicken? You were just eating chicken last week. I was like, yeah, bro, I don't do that anymore, right? Um, so my friends thought it was weird, but I've always been the kind of, you know, like as believers, especially as Adventists, we are called to be what? Peculiar people. So we always have been a little bit different. We go to church on the Sabbath. Come on now. So I was kind of used to that, but I didn't mind it at all. I was like, okay, cool. You know, you guys think it's weird. And now it's so funny um, because a lot of my friends, especially from college, that used to clown me. And they're some of my good friends, mind you. But now a lot of them are vegetarian. I'm just like, who would have ever thought I mean, I knew it was coming, you know, because once you come into that knowledge for yourself, it's just like you can't you can't walk away from from that that knowledge. Um, it's like, what am, what am I going to eat if I know that being plant based is the best thing for my diet? So for me, I had a bunch of people in my family. Um, 
awesome family support. Yo, that family support, like literally, I look back on that and I'm just like in awe of like, man, God, thank you so much for giving me that family. Because depending on like what culture you come from, you know, family could be pretty, pretty, pretty cruel. Like, hey, you're going to eat this or, you know, you're not going to eat. But like my family was good. They were they were amazing for that. Um, so super grateful for that. So right now we're putting the tofu on the tray. Again, I have an air fryer. Air fryers are great investment. Like I legit, my air fryer is probably like my most used appliance. However, if you don't have an air fryer, you can put it in the in the oven and it's perfectly fine. So it's two rolls. And all I'm gonna do is I want the my tofu to cook. I want my tofu to cook. It's on a tray. Again, you don't have to have an air fryer to make baked tofu, because that's all an air fryer is. It's just a convection oven and it just cooks it on all sides. So that's why I use it all the time. Because I'm I try to get away from uh, using my what's up Tish? I try to get away from using my microwave. How many of you all also try to get away from using your microwave? Let me know in the comments below. Or let me know if you, you do use the microwave. I use the microwave sometimes, but not often. Are y'all microwave users or no? Let me know. I'm going to put this in. Let me know. Let me know. All right. I hope you guys are commenting. We're going to put our... Tofu in the air fryer. All right. All right, cool. So we have a bunch of people watching us. All right. So put a put an emoji, the guy with the shades, the little emoji with the shades, if you're still with us. Let me know. Let me see who's still with us. If you're still with us, put the emoji with the guy with the shades. I'm washing my hands, you know, safety first, right? All right, let me read some of the comments. We got rid of it six years ago, no microwave. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing, yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I too wanna get to those levels of not using um, my microwave, um, but, I hard, but I hardly use it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So when I was talking to Zach, I was like, yo Zach, I really wanna do this. Um, and he was like, you know, this will be a great, what up? Thanks for still being with us, man. Make sure you guys share this video, share this video. Cause we're about to make something absolutely amazing, spectacular, incredible. And you guys are going to be blown away. Um, so right now we're going to make plant based cheese. Yeah. You heard it. You heard me right. Plant based cheese. All you need is russet potatoes, white potatoes, any type of potatoes, but russet potatoes, carrots, you need onions, seasonings, oil, nutritional yeast, um, and then I like a little kick, so I use jalapenos. What's up, what's up? Thank you guys for still being with me. All right, so let's get the, what type of, do you guys have blenders at home? Let me know, do you have a blender? Do you have a, what type of blender? Nutribullet, a Vitamix? So this is a Vitamix. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do I kind of made my life a little bit easier just for time purposes. So I have two cups of white potatoes and one cup and one cup of carrots. They've already been boiled. They've been cooked. Um, and I'm going to put them in the blender. All right. Bop, 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 bop. Awesome. Amazing. All right. So now I'm going to add... Um, some, I'm going to add some water. So the good thing about this recipe, um, it just depends on like your palate and what do you want, what you, what you like. You can either add oat milk or you can add, or you can add a plant-based milk, excuse me, or you can add water. You know what? I am going to add, I'm going to add my plant-based milk this time. I never... You guys are gonna be like the first ones to see this. I used to use water, but the original recipe called for uh, plant-based milk. So all you need is one half a cup of milk. All right. Just put this up earlier. 
we're going to put a half a cup of milk. Do, do, do. Perfect. Amazing. All right. So after you do that, you add your seasonings. Some of my favorite seasonings, people are always asking me about recipes and different things. Y'all, I, I use the same seasonings all the time. Onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, turmeric, and paprika. I literally use that in almost every single thing that I cook. Side note, so the tofu that I just put in the air fryer, I didn't season it because um, I will be putting this sauce on it a little bit later. So that's why I didn't season it. I try not to cook with a whole lot of um, salt and, you know, I love seasoning just as much as the next person, but if it's gonna be drenched in sauce anyway, you don't even really need it. So the so we have our two cups of potatoes, one cup of carrot, we got our half cup of um, oat milk. We have grapeseed oil. We go, we're gonna need one third of a cup of grapeseed oil. And I don't like to put a lot of oil in my food, um, just because you know it sits at the bottom of your stomach. So I'm not even gonna use that much. I'm not gonna use one third of a cup. This is way less. So. The beautiful thing about, and I want to empower you guys right now, the beautiful thing about cooking and getting in the kitchen, especially since we're all quarantined and we're, we're home already, be creative, alter recipes. When I cook something, no lie, if I see a recipe, I'm always going to see if, there's a rec if the recipe has stuff that I have at home, one, and then two, if, you know, if it's a recipe online or on Google or on Pinterest or whatever the case may be that I like a little bit better. So I, I, I monitor different recipes. Um, I see a couple people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Madeline, thank you for sharing. Hey Lois. Yeah, this is a Vitamix. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of our seasonings. So what are some seasonings that you guys like to, like to use? Again, I told you I love salt. I love salt, I love paprika. Um, what else do you guys like? Let me know, let me know. This is interactive, guys. This isn't just watching. I want you guys to totally be interactive and just let me know what you guys like as well. All right, so I wanna make sure it has season. I made this last week and um, it was pretty good. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Pro tip, when you are looking for like a cheesy flavor in a lot of your food, you can definitely use nutritional yeast. So it calls for a cup. A half a cup, excuse me. A half a cup of nutritional yeast. Well, let's rinse this out. A half a cup of nutritional yeast. Alright, cool. We're gonna put that in there. And it's gonna give it like a cheesy flavor. So amazing. Again, I told you I like my paprika. I like my paprika. I like my onion powder and I like my garlic powder. All right, so do you guys like spicy things? Yes or no? Put it in the comments. Let me know if you like spicy things or not. Let me know, because that's gonna determine my next step. Do you like spicy? Yes or no? Yes or no? <laughs> All right, so I love a little kick in my, so we're, we're, what we're making right now is queso, um, cheese sauce. So I use a little bit of jalapenos, right? Give it a little, cook, a, a little kick and then some jalapeno juice, the, the brine. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And now you put the top, you have your seasonings, you have your oil, um, you have your jalapenos. Now you blend on high. So look at it now, and then in a second it's gonna look like cheese. Let's 
look at it. Oh, this looks amazing. Let me taste it first. Let me taste it. If it does not taste good, I know I have to add some seasoning. Y'all, look at this. This looks just like queso, all right? Oh my gosh, that's good. Oh man, that's good. And it has that like, that hint of, that hint of jalapenos. I do want to add a little bit more seasoning though. Um, we're going to add a little bit more salt, but just a little bit. A little bit more salt for taste. And then let's add a little bit more garlic powder. Onion powder, excuse me. We forgot to put our onion powder. You guys are legit in my kitchen. This is the coolest thing ever. All right? Thank you guys can be anywhere in the world right now, but you guys are with the plant-based brother. If you just tuned in, hello, I'm Zob Hanfield, originally from Miami, Florida, but I reside in Houston, Texas. Right now we're making plant-based cheese, and this can be used for macaroni and cheese. It can be used for chips and queso. Um, I just added a little bit more seasoning. Let me add a little bit more juice, jalapeno juice, just for a little kick. Just for a little kick, and we'll be good to go. Let's blend on high. All right. So you guys saw how it looked originally. Let me get some tortilla chips and put it in my handy dandy. All right, so we just made queso. You guys are with me, so we just literally made it together. Put this on the side. Let me show you. Look how good this looks, guys. We literally made cheese in five minutes. And it's like creamy as well. All right, let's try it with the tortilla chips. Here goes nothing. Dum, dum, dum. Chips and queso. Plant based out. You guys, you want some? You want some? No? Yep. Yeah. Guys, this is amazing. If I wasn't on live right now, I probably would demolish this, you guys. So good. So, again. We made our plant-based cheese with two cups of white potatoes. Russian potatoes are fine. Um, we added one cup of carrots. We had a half a cup of onions. Any onions will do. Red onions, yellow onions. I added jalapenos for that extra kick. Salt to taste. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Um, some recipes call for lemon juice. Eh. You can or you, or you don't have to. Um, and you add a little bit of oil for the consistency purposes and magnifique. It was amazing. All right, so you just learned how to make plant-based cheese. Now, we're gonna check on our tofu. I'm gonna check on it for you guys and let you know how it looks. So it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. All right, so it needs a little bit more time. And we're gonna move all this stuff out of the way. So that we, we can prepare for our veggie fried rice. Veggie fried rice. You guys have any questions? Let me know. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Let me know, let me know. This is really cool. I've never, I mean, I've done presentations at like camp before and places like that, but I've never gone live for our our, our SDA community. So I think that's pretty amazing. Does anybody have any questions for me while I move all this extra stuff out of the way? Let me see. Let me see. Anybody have any questions? Lois, it's so good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love that. Candace says she'll eat anything with carrots. So while we are preparing to make our veggie fried rice, I have a test for you guys. 
This is like our intermission break. What do potatoes, onions, carrots, citrus foods, garlic, what do they all have in common? This is our intermission break. That's a question. What do they all have in common? The person that gets it right, they will get the Plant Based Brother ebook to help you transition to going to plant based for free. The person who gets it right will get an ebook for free. So, what do citrus fruit, apples, celery, what do those things have in common? Let me know. Who wants a free ebook? Ah! All right. Garlic, citrus fruit, all of those things have, are fresh fruit up produce that have a very high shelf life. So a lot of us, great, that was a great answer. That was a great answer, vitamin C. Yes, some of those do have vitamin C, um, but they have a very high shelf life. So about two weeks ago, um, I maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, I, you know, when everything was just going crazy and there was like, make sure you have food and there was nothing in the stores, I stocked up on those things. I stocked up on apples and grapefruit and garlic, um, citrusy foods and celery. Um, and I'm still eating on those things and they're not bad. You know, um, they're on my counter and I just put them in. I like cold grapefruit in the morning, um, but I just literally take them off the counter, put them in my refrigerator because I like cold fruit, random, right? and I eat it in the morning time. So those are fresh fruits that have a high shelf life. Then they can last for a long time. You know, our president just said that we're going to be kind of like indoors since until April 30th. So we need to be conscious of the things that's going to last and not the things that have like a super, I mean, fresh fruit and produce are gonna have a short shelf life and that's good because if it has a if it lasts for 8 million years, it's like, do you want that in your body? Probably not. But I just wanted to share that with you. Um, did anybody get that answer right? Oh, she said she was not thinking that. That is so funny. Antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin C. Those are great answers. But that was not the answer that I was looking for. But we're going to do some more. We're going to do some more, um, some more quizzes as well. So, again, I'm washing my hands. I'm getting it all lathered up. Let me make sure I have a nice lather, right? We want to be safe, and I want to show you guys um, great tools in the kitchen that, I mean, should be implemented anyway, right? So my hands are all lathered up. 10 more seconds. I want to make sure if you guys were literally in my kitchen, I would be doing the same exact thing because I want you guys healthy, I want to stay healthy, and I want to just make this the best opportunity to learn and grow and, and just commune over food, all right? So I cheated, and um, because of time, I used my rice cooker, which is right there behind me. I used my rice cooker in order to um, make our veggie fried rice. So right now, we are going to move this over so you guys can see. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn it on low. We're going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil. We're making veggie fried rice now, you guys. Add a little bit of grapeseed oil. I'm obsessed with garlic. If you love garlic, put in the comments, like, garlic is bae. Garlic is amazing. Or tell me, like, nah, I can't do garlic. Let me know. Which one are you? Are you like, I love garlic, or are you garlic is bae? Which one? Let me know. Zach, do you love garlic, bro? Can they see? Garlic is so good for us, you guys. So, 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 so good for us. Hi, Zavandra H. That's my twin sister. I love you. <laughs> Garlic is definitely life. Yes, yes. 
All right, so our, our pot is warming up. Everybody loves garlic. Garlic is bae, you already know. Garlic is amazing and it's so good for us. Garlic is actually an immune booster as well. Um, I, I'm a brand ambassador for this juice company um, in Houston. It's based out of Texas, but obviously I'm, I go to the one in Houston and I had something you guys, as the Sabbath was closing, before the Sabbath closed, cause you know the sun sets a lot later these days, um, I wanted to go there and try their, it was, it's something new called their immunity tree. You guys, it was crazy. The immunity tree had oregano oil, um, B12, it had, my gosh, it had literally everything in the, under the sun. So right now, I am going to saute our onion. I think I need to cut it first. Let me cut it just in case. My friends, my friend, so I don't think giving gifts is my love language, but I actually love gifts. So this past Christmas, I wasn't able to go home, unfortunately. However, one of my childhood friends uh, bought me, gave me this, and it literally is a chopper for your veggies. And you put it down and you have chopped whatever. Usually it would take me a ridiculous amount of time to uh, to cut and dice it that small. However, with this handy dandy contraption, it took me, what, three seconds? So right now we have our garlic and our onions and we're gonna cook those on low right now. Again, we're making veggie fried rice. Take this one out. Veggie fried rice. So we, we have it sauteing on low right now. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. You can be watching anything. You can be reposting memes, but you are in here with me. Make sure you share this video. If you know somebody that needs to be in this group, share it, share it, share it, share it. All right. Whoa, okay. I think this piece was too big. So this is an orange pepper. I, the, more pe the more veggies, the better. The more veggies, the better. We're gonna put in our veggie fried rice. All right, so I wanna let you, I wanna empower, this is the Greater Milwaukee um, group, fellowship, SDA fellowship, and friends, because obviously I'm in Texas, right? But I wanna empower you guys, especially in these crazy times, to just trust God and his timing and, and his plan for our lives. And to also, you know, don't think that it has to be so daunting again. You have to cook like a an Instagrammer or a celebrity chef in order to have really good food. You really don't. Just find the things in your kitchen that you like, cook those things, get creative, and the rest is history. Like, don't, I, I wanna empower you guys. If I can do it, you guys can too. I'm not saying that like, Oh, I haven't had experience or that I don't, that I don't, do, that I don't cook, that I do cook every day. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. However, when I'm in the kitchen, that allows me to be the most creative. Does anybody else, does, does anybody else resonate with that? Let me know. Is anybody else, when they do it, when you guys get in the kitchen, you're like, yo, I'm able to be super creative. Let me know. We're just sauteing our veggies on low right now. I love peppers. So we have orange peppers, we have red onions, we have, now we're going to end it with green peppers. We have our tofu cooking in the air fryer. If you just tuned in, we just made plant-based cheese. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And right now we're making veggie fried rice. Veggie fried rice. Again, thank you so much, Greater Milwaukee SDA Fellowship for allowing me to do this. I think it's so important. I mean, I'm not like a youth anymore. I guess I'll be considered a young adult, I guess. Like, you know, I'm not that old. However, 
I don't think I'm like a young adult. However, I think it's so important to highlight and showcase the skills, the talents, the giftings of the, the individuals in our church, especially the millennials, especially the Gen Zers. You know why? Because, you know, they could be anywhere else. So if you are a youth leader, find do like a skills assessment and find out what your youth and your young adults actually like to do and then just kind of like pour into them. All right. So these are green peas. I'm going to put that in there for our rice. All right, let me check out check out the comments. The kitchen is absolutely a great place to, to, to experiment. Helps fight off cold. That's so funny. Terry, you are hilarious. It will keep people away. Your husband loves garlic. Garlic is absolutely amazing. The family is not... In, uh, yeah, unfortunately, sometimes families... Um, Wash my hands again. Just touch my phone. Unfortunately, you know, some family members, it takes a little bit more warming up to um, than others. But you still, but still cook anyway, Candace. Still cook anyway. Um, and just make sure it's good, like really good. So then, like, if it's good, you like what can't be negated is people like good food, even if they don't know what it is. You don't, you wouldn't believe how many times somebody has tried. Somebody has tried, let's say, cauliflower wings, and they're like, yo, this doesn't taste like chicken, but it's equally as good. You know what I mean? So let's check on our tofu. It's in our air fryer right now. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice. All right. Great flavor. So right now, we are going to cook our, cook our peas. Take this out. Um, so these are mushrooms. Again, the more mushrooms, the better. Usually it takes me a nice amount of time to cut these mushrooms. Excuse me. Dope, dope. However, with my contraption, it takes no time at all. All right, move this down a little bit. All right, our veggie fried rice is super easy. And another thing I wanna empower you guys with as well is make sure that you buy things that are staples that you can use in multiple meals. So what I mean by that is peppers. I can use peppers in quesadillas, plant-based quesadillas with some vegan cheese, amazing. All right, I can use mushrooms, and a pasta sauce, homemade pasta sauce. You add a little bit of veggie broth. Um, you add a little bit of plant-based milk and it is bomb. Oh, this is gonna be great. Let me turn up the, let me turn it up, make sure it's cooking. Cause we don't want it like, we still want a little bit of, a little bit of crunch. We wanna make sure it's cooked through. So, I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. You guys, why grapeseed oil is so good is because unlike olive oil, which we're only supposed to use in salads because it's not supposed to be heated, grapeseed is good for high heat. So high heat just means anything, um, anything on medium or hot, medium or low. Medium too high, excuse me, all right? So we're gonna, and this, 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 this is called just like my little stove, my travel little eye, if for lack of better words, and I got it from Walmart. If you need a cast iron skillet, go to Walmart as well. I got my small one for $10 and you know, it has iron in it and you know, all of the old school people know about cast iron skillets and the many benefits that it has. So this is gonna be amazing. Let me see if we have any comments. Yo, Allison, that's, this chopper is next level. I'm so serious. Yo, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my friend where she got it from. Literally, it would take me the longest time to, to cut fruits and veggies just because I wanna make sure it's cut a certain way. Again, everything will be diced like this. 
I also have a mandolin, but I'm like, eh, don't really need it. Um, I like I like that this does the job. So our veggie fried rice, the beautiful thing about it is you can add as many veggies that you want. So in here, our green peas, you have three types of peppers, um, mushrooms, I'm about to add some carrots in here, but onions, garlic, all of that. So our veggie fried rice is gonna be good. Again, we already prepped our rice which is right there. All right. I know I don't have that much more time with you guys, so we're gonna speed it up a little bit. And this is the bowl that the peppers were in. So right now I'm gonna put the tofu in it and we're gonna mix it in this sweet and sour sauce. Let me put the tofu in. So this is the tofu that I cooked in the air fryer. It looks amazing. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Amazing, amazing. Let me know if you're still with me. If you're still with me, drop an emoji. Drop the cool guy. Let me know, let me know. All right. If you're still with me, drop, the, drop an emoji, the cool guy. All right, so this is our tofu. Literally, if you do not have an air fryer perfectly fried, just put it in the oven and you can bake it. So this is found at Walmart, at HEB. Um, it's found at most of your local groceries and it's just called sweet chili sauce. Honestly, I put it on almost everything, like legit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour some on our tofu. The tofu is gonna be soft in the middle, but crunchy on the outside. That's my preference. But if you have a, if you like, you know, let's say a little bit more softer tofu, you can do that as well. All right. Man, you guys, this is amazing. I love it. What brand is this? This is the May Cloy brand. It looks just like this. It comes in two or three sizes. And this is the largest size. Um, I paid $4.69 for it. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm mixing it around. We're gonna have sweet chili tofu with our veggie fried rice. It's gonna need definitely a little bit more. You guys, so because I'm in a lot of these like plant-based vegan spaces, y'all, there, that's what I was looking for. I, I needed to get on all pieces. Um, because I'm in so many of those spaces, I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. As Adventists, we cannot sleep on the health message. We cannot sleep on the message that we've had because the messages that are coming out are more so are more so like for the animals and, and this, that, and the third. And I grew up with animals. I'm an animal lover as well. But I also know the importance of like putting things in our body that honors our temple. Why is that important? If we're able to think clearer, if we're able to... Um, be healthier, eat things, eat live vegetables and fruits, how much better do you think we're going to be able to hear from God and hear what God will want for us to say or, or want for us to do, right? Put a heart if you feel that, if you feel that. If you feel me, put a heart. Let me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because, I, again, I'm in these circles and a lot of times they may eat like me, but they're very godless. And what I mean by godless is, you know, maybe they're into tarot card readings or, you know, they're into yoga. Yoga's, yoga's cool for some people. Um, some of my friends that are believers prefer Pilates. But from upon my research, you know, yoga really is, a, is it's not for me just because it's too spiritual. It's too spiritual for me. But I wanted to bring that up because we've had this message for so long. And it's like that song we grew up in cradle roll, you know, hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. It's like, no, we have got to let our lights shine for Jesus Christ on a daily basis. So that can be done with the way you eat. I don't judge anybody how they eat, you know, because some people like legit don't know and they need understanding and that's perfectly fine. However, I think that our church, um, we have to do a better job. That's why I'm so grateful and blessed to be here. 
we have to do a better job of just understanding the health message and understanding it's how applicable it is to us in 2020. So our church has a new start. Does anybody does anybody know the acronym for new start? We're doing another intermission. If you know the acronym for new start, what it stands for, what it means, the first one to put it down will get the Plant Based Brother ebook. I have an ebook I created it two years ago um, around my birthday time. Just do something special and cool. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been really helping a lot of people transition to a plant based diet. Does anybody know what new start means? New start. Let me see. What's up, Jocelyn? All right. So when you when you do new start, I need to see the whole acronym. The first one is nutrition. What's the E W? What does it all stand for? Does anybody know? Come on now. This is this is this is for this is for a plant based brother ebook. <laughs> All right. So right now we're going to add a little bit of seasoning. This is garlic powder right here. I love seasoning. I love for my food to taste good. I told you I put everything, I use the same things all the time. Paprika, amazing, amazing. You guys, I cannot forget my baby. Where's my baby? Oh, right here. Turmeric, you guys, if you do not have turmeric in your home, please get some like tonight because the benefits are amazing. Anti-inflammatory, boosts your immune system. So great. Cumin. Whoa, this smells amazing. Cumin. And just for kicks and giggles, we're gonna put some oregano. We're making our veggie fried rice. Dun, dun, dun. So let's mix it around. The smell, I, I know you guys can see the smoke. The smell is absolutely amazing. Like, I wish I could ship every single one of you guys a plate. But we are going to be quarantined for a little bit longer. So um, thank you, Zach, for the invite because I don't have to meal prep. Or I don't have to cook daily. This is my meal prep. I'm so grateful for that. All right, this is just about done. All right, we're gonna put it in a bowl, like a really, really big bowl that I washed earlier. All right, so this is our bowl right here. We're making our veggie fried rice. Move this over. You guys, if you do not have a rice cooker, please invest in one. This rice is literally cooked to perfection. Cooked to perfection. So we're gonna put it in here. Dun, dun, dun. Look, it has a stick. When I used to make it previously, it was all bad. All bad, all right? Of course, we always will want more veggies than rice. So now we're gonna use some olive, uh, not some olive oil, some soy sauce. Low sodium so soy sauce, because as you may or may not know, soy sauce can be incredibly salty. Um, so we're gonna put soy sauce to give it that, that Asian feel. Let's put a little bit of soy sauce in it. I remember growing up, um, there was a Asian restaurant that my family used to always order from it was so good. But now I'm like, I can make my own food. Like, I don't even really need to eat. I don't really need to eat, need to eat at an Asian restaurant. And then it's better for you, right? But yeah, we're going to add our, let's turn this off. We're gonna add our mixture, our veggies to our rice. Brum, brum, brum. Put it in there. So we started off with garlic and onions. This is a lot of food, you guys. It's a 
so much food. Put it behind me. All right. I want you guys to be able to see everything. So I'm gonna move this as well. And then we're gonna mix it. All right. Mix the veggies. Mix the veggies, veggies. So of course the rice doesn't have to be fried, but um, yeah, there's definitely more veggies than rice and that's great. Uh, it's turning yellow and that's because of the turmeric, which is amazing for us. It's so good for us. Again, if you stand up on your feet all day sometimes, by the end of the day, if I'm cooking, if I'm doing a lot, I have inflammation. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why, am I, why are my feet swollen? And yeah, I make sure I drink some turmeric tea or I put, put it in some food and it totally helps. All right. So I'm someone that is really, really big on flavors. So we're gonna have some complimentary um, flavors just working out. So you guys already know, this is our sweet and sour tofu. Again, it's crispy on the outside, but it is soft in the middle. So we're gonna add that to our sweet and sour medley. And again, these are gonna be complimentary flavors. Oh, uh, there's the jury, the, the, People are very conflicted, I'll say, when it comes to tofu. I feel like tofu is incredibly polarizing. People either like really, really like it, or they really, really don't like tofu. I have to, I, I love tofu because it's so versatile. This week, I don't know when I'm gonna make some lasagna, some vegan, vegetarian, whatever, plant-based lasagna, and when I, did do dairy. My favorite part of lasagna was the ricotta cheese. I just love that. However, you can make ricotta cheese with tofu, oregano, a little bit of lemon juice, put it in your high power blender to give it the consistency of ricotta cheese, and you literally would not even be able to tell the difference. All right, and I just wanna let you guys know, I think I told you guys, around two years ago, I created my own ebook and I, you know, I want you guys to know that you can buy it. Um, it has a lot of recipes. It has my personal story and some tips. And it is going, like, I think it will help you out. Um, it, is, it isn't a full-fledged cookbook. No, it's to encourage you, to inspire individuals who want to jumpstart their plant-based journey. So I can definitely provide the link after this live is over so you guys can cop that ebook, get it for you, get it for a family member, um, support an entrepreneur, um, and a fellow Adventist entrepreneur. I think that would, that would be super amazing. Um, but now, the time that you guys have all been waiting for. I mixed it around, I have my veggie fried rice. This looks better and it smells better than anything that you could probably get at the Asian restaurants with less sodium, just saying. All right, so we're gonna, let's, let's use another bowl. Let's use another bowl. All right. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. So here's my bowl. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Thank you, thank you, Zach. Thank you, Fellowship, for inviting me and allowing me to do this. I am the plant-based brother. If you haven't done so already, find me. I'm not hard to find. I post more on Instagram at the plant-based brother with an A, not an E-R. But if you are on Facebook more, definitely like plant-based brother so you can find out when the next time I'm going live. Um, we can stay in touch. You can bring me to your church. We can do a Zoom call. We can do a live. We can do a virtual. We can just have a lot of fun, right? Let's, let's work together. One of my favorite proverbs it's an African proverb and it says, if you wanna go fast, go alone, but if you wanna go far, go together. So let me help you um, because you guys, this world is, yeah, you, we already know. So let's try it, let's taste it. Mm, 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 mm. So what stands out to me is how the Sweet and sour sauce from the tofu pairs with the turmeric. The turmeric, I told you guys, I put it in everything. 
It tastes amazing. And the mushrooms, like, I, honestly, let me see what you guys are saying. Yes, 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 yes. Yo, Candace, I'm so glad you said that. The turmeric paired so well with the sweet and sour sauce. And I was just about to say, we didn't even need tofu because the mushroom is so meaty. Mmm. Yo, does anybody have any questions for me before we have to go? Let me know. Let me know. I'm coming up to the camera. Ha! <laughs> that is so funny. Does anybody have any questions before we go? Look up New Start. I'm going to drop the link to my ebook at right after this. Head to YouTube. Miss Mindy is doing story time for children. If you have a child, definitely check Miss Mindy out. This is amazing. I got you. Send me your address. I got you. I don't know how long it will take to get to you, and, and I might have to put it on ice, but I got you. Am I going to do another live here? We can work that out. You gotta let you gotta let Zach know, and uh, we can possibly work that out. I would love to come back. You guys are my family now. You know, we, we broke bread together, me eating, you watching, of course. Uh, so we're practicing family now. I would love to come back. Yes. What I'm gonna do, because I make this stuff all the time, it's literally like second nature, but for the cheese and for the veggie fried rice, I'm gonna absolutely put it in this group. Um, along with the link to my ebook. If you are looking to transition or you know somebody that is looking to transition as well, um, definitely get my ebook. It's, I think it's like $10.99, um, but it's super beneficial. It has breakfast meals, snack meals, lunch, dinner, and it's all meals that I prepare myself. Uh, so it's super amazing. Yo, thank you so much. That means a lot, Anderson. That means a lot. I will definitely. So where's dessert? Um, so so so. I'm being bad. I know. I know. I know. So I have some friends that uh, my friends over at Nadamu Ice Cream in Austin, Texas. They sent me some ice cream a couple weeks ago. This is Nadamu. Their ice cream can be found in H E B if you live in Texas in Whole Foods. Um, I think even in some WalMarts. So I personally. We'll be having not a new ice cream, possibly for dessert. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that with you guys as of right now. But this is my dessert, Candace. I'm sorry. I'm I I I'm I haven't baked cookies in a million years. And um and yeah. Thanks for the what did Denise say? Thanks for the address. That's so funny. Anderson, you are hilarious, bro. Karen, I am definitely going to post a recipe. Christelle, I got you. I got you. All right. So this was so much fun. Um, definitely like Plant Based Brother on, Insta on, on Facebook and on Instagram. I have a YouTube channel. Um, these recipes aren't on YouTube, but a couple other videos are. Last week, I did a Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell. Um, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to finish my dinner. I mean, I wish I could share with you guys. Oh, that's so funny. Nanamu is like legit bae in real life. I love Nanamu ice cream. And this flavor is, is cookie dough fudge. But it was fun. I'm gonna finish eating my dessert. My, not, dessert right here. I'm gonna finish eating my veggie fried rice. I'll definitely post the recipe within 24 to 36, 48 hours, I don't know. I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna post the link also for my ebook, definitely support. I love you guys. Like me on Facebook. Um, hopefully, I'll be back. Since you guys enjoyed it, you gotta let Zach know this was cool or, you know, Zav sucks. I don't know, whatever the case may be. Um, but this is fun. I'm signing out. If you have children, go check out Miss Mindy, at, like right now on YouTube, um, which I should try. The tacos were amazing. I love tacos, it's like my favorite food. Love you guys. Sister Stewart, I'm heading out. You can catch this on the replay after I hang up, I think. All right, bye.